Okay, so this is going to be my review for um, what if episode, uh, what if Killmonger saved Tony Stark. Um, I will say that I, I really wanted to like this episode. It was uh it started out strong and but then it just kind of went to shit um it made me realize a couple of things um i don't like um the fact that they're they keep killing off tony stark in all these timelines i mean even in the even in the mcu timeline he's already been killed off right so i mean like at least that was a heroic death with these what if episodes we keep getting it's like and 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 one of them he dies from uh well, I'm trying to remember he dies from oh oh he dies from getting injected uh, by, by Ant Man, in the donut diner, while he's talking to, uh, while he's talking to, uh, what's wrong with me, Nick Fury, right? So, okay, so he dies in that one. He dies in the actual main story. And now we get another one where he dies. It's like, dude, can you give us one where he doesn't die? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's so many other things that they could do with these what if episodes. So many other potential timelines that they could touch on. The the it just seems like the the writing is really bad. I just really think so because like. There's all I can come up with a whole bunch of different ideas for what ifs, right? But the ones that they're coming up with aren't that great. There's been a couple really good episodes, like the I think the Doctor Strange episode was good. Um, a couple of the episodes were pretty good, but a lot of these premises are stupid. Um, this episode, aside from the fact that Tony Stark died again, it made me realize, it did kind of make me curious to go back and rewatch the Black Panther movie. It did kind of make me curious to do that, but it also made me realize I really don't like Killmonger. <laughs> uh, I really don't like him. I know you're not supposed to like a villain. I know you're not supposed to like a villain, but it's like, um, it's like, Killmonger is straight up, Killmonger is straight up racist, dude. I was, I think, I honestly think Killmonger is straight up racist against white people. Um, yeah, but other than that, like here's a couple. It was it was okay. It was it was not it was not as bad as some of the worst what if episodes, but it wasn't as good as some of the other ones. Um, here's a couple what ifs they could easily do. Like for example, for the for the um episode one when they did the what if Captain America, they could have done instead of uh instead of the scenario where they play out Peggy staying outside of the viewing booth and, and like the verse staying in the viewing booth versus out of the viewing booth w one that would have made way more sense is if they did what if the vial didn't break when Steve uh, tossed the dude back up onto the dock after he after he uh captured him from his submarine 
Because if when he chased the dude down and he busted into a submarine and threw him back onto the dock, what if the vial didn't break? What if he caught the vial? Then they could have used the vial to make Bucky into a super soldier too right off the bat without him ever having become Winter Soldier. And they could have been a team. And there would have never been a, a Winter Soldier. It would have just been Steve and Bucky being super soldiers from the jump. Um, That's one what if they could do. They could do another what if they could do is what if uh, Banner never never messes up with the game um uh, when he's recreating super soldier serum what if he doesn't mess it up right that's another what if they could do what if he doesn't mess it up what if he successfully creates the perfect super soldier serum instead of messing it up and becoming hulk so he so they could do that and whole there could be a what if episode where banner becomes a superior super soldier that doesn't involve any bulky monsters um that's two there's all sorts of good episodes they could do i just i don't know man another one if they not this this is kind of fourth wall fourth wall breaking but what if Don Cheadle never replaced Ron Howard as, um, as, uh, Ro as Rhodey? <laughs> they could do that one if. It would be kind of fourth wall breaking, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really like this episode. It was, I liked the end. Well, I liked the ending, though, where at least... At least it ended it up like, kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I just, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it.